Howdy y'all! It's your old partner Kubrick here and after this opening cinematic I want to welcome you back to my channel. Today I want to try something a bit different that you could usually see here because until now if I didn't want to make a building series I just made a quick cinematic and not talk about the mock. But I think this build deserves to say at least a few words about it so let's all settle up and enjoy some of the details you might have missed during the opening of this video. And who knows, maybe this format will catch on and you will see more videos like this here on Kubrick. The whole idea of this mug goes way back. As a kid growing up in the 90s I loved the classic western team. In fact it was one of my favorites right next to the castle of course. I just had a few smaller sets though and I've always wanted to have the set number 6761, the bandit's secret hideout. Unfortunately, these were the times in Poland that not every set was within range, so I could only try and build my own version from the not so many bricks I had that time. So now, as my skill in mock building is growing with each and every one I make, I decided to give it a go. And man, I am so happy I did. It took a lot of research and planning to make everything not only reminiscent of the classic LEGO set, but also as much realistic as possible. The first step was to figure out the base place since the original set was made on a specially printed one with wagon rods. So I've decided to make a freeform base with the rods being made with wedge plates. I used multiple layers of wedges not only to make the rods look realistic but also to make a nice edge to the freeform base. The next step was to make the gold mine itself and here the job was pretty much straightforward since the rock work is everyone's favorite part of mock building, right? I decided to go as random as possible to make the rock work look realistic. The only catch was that it had to contain a mine tunnel so the technique had to change on the inside as it was carved out by pickaxes. The backside is just a flat wall but to make things more interesting I've added some different colored layers and place few golden studs as gold nuggets embedded into the rocks. And of course I had to make the tracks for the minecart on the inside of the tunnel on which I placed a simple cart full of gold and the tunnel itself is lit from above with a power function light placed on the ceiling. I've covered the rocks with some sand and a bit of desert foliage and I could finally move to building the wooden structures as part of the gold mine itself. The main build is of course the wooden shock on the top of the rock formation. Here I could use some of the printed tiles I got in this year's lock book. And not only that, because I've placed them so they are not attached completely, so the whole building is looking as it was old and all worn out. And you know me, a building with no interior is not my style, so I made some simple furniture inside with some stash and a working light to give a better look inside. There also had to be a way to get inside the shack from the bottom so I made some wooden stairs leading up. I really like how this part turned out, but I can't take all the credit for it as the idea of the stairs I got from my friend from the Edge of Bricks channel, who came up with this technique while working on his castle mock. By the way, if you haven't seen his channel, you should definitely check out his ongoing castle building series called The Black Serpent, where he used this technique for making siege ladders. Now having the part of the desert, the rock work and the wooden structures the time came to get into details which I didn't spare as usual. So besides the obvious keep out sign made with the original printed tile from the 90s, we have some crates with mining equipment under the staircase, some random junk laying all around, few desert animals and of course some weapons for the bandits who took this mine as their hideout. On the edge of the rocks there is a water barrel which I had since I was a kid from one of the old western sets and behind it I made a dried out tree on which there is a vulture sitting that I made from a hairpiece and just a few small parts. All that was left was placing the minifigures and make a fun western scene with two cavalry soldiers attacking the hideout and our bandits trying to defend it. As usual for all western movies there had to be a shootout in which one of the bandits already took a hit but the rest is still eager to defend their lair. Luckily for them, one of the soldiers is riding a skittish horse, so it's just a matter of seconds before the scared soldier will hit the ground. And I think that covers all the things I've included in this small diorama. I had so much fun building this mock and I hope you've enjoyed this tour as much as I did. 
In the end, I think this just became my favorite build I made. But what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, hit that like button and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all the new mocks I make. And with all that said, I want to wish you a good day and remember to keep it bricking.